Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's go to see the process of and of the key aggregate crypto system in cloud computing. The overall abstract of this process is here uh, the main implementation of the process is in the cloud computing. It provides an universal accessible architecture in which uh, the network online storage data where our data is stored on multiple virtual servers generally hosted by third parties. Here, when we are concentrating on the data security of the outsourced data, the key management and key sharing plays a main role. So, in the traditional crypt key cryptography systems, uh, have is mainly focused on the random key generation process, which lacks the enhanced security techniques such as the keys ca can be compromised by the hackers so in this pay process we uh, introduce the aggregate key crypto system in which the keys are generated by the um, uh, deriva various derivations of the cipher text class properties and is also key in which masters uh, secured uh, keys can be generated by the de various derivations of and the attributes of the data owners and the uh, the users so the keys can be created in a complex manner so um, uh, no one can easily able to get the key in which the data can be shared next we are going to see the process flow of this project first here uh, when we start the process the data owner plays a main role in which he is going to uh, create the keys first of all he is uh, he is going to classify the um, instances in uh, by which the ind cipher index are created and uh, respective um, classes are created by which uh, the key, uh, key generation method is called in which the master and public keys are generated actually this key this key generation method is usually uh, uh, done by using the binary mapping algorithm and uh, after that uh, by having the aggregation of the master and public key we we are going to create an aggregate uh, aggregate function in which the uh, key aggregate uh, key, key aggregate function is called and uh, also our aggregate key is generated with some some of the access level so we define the access level in which uh, uh, two kinds of access levels are generated for, for example we can able to generate the public and uh, private access level we are uh, our data uh, the data owner data has to be stored within uh, two kinds of public and uh, private access level uh, after that uh, defining and generating the aggregate key the data and uh, the keys are, are outsourced to the cloud in which uh, it will be stored with an IAS properties infra service properties and after uh, the successful uh, secure storage the, the, key, the data request has been posted by the data user in which uh, uh, once the request is posted it is sent to the cloud server plus it will be authenticated the, the data will be authenticated and after that it will check the infra service IAS level in which the two kinds of private and public access level so private access means this the data is a public one it, it can be provided without any access uh, keys and the public uh, and the private access means it can, uh, the data should be decrypted with an uh, aggregate key so the data will be uh, sent to that respective users next we are going to see the process flow so for that you just run the extra expand the key aggregate package and run home.java and after uh, right click and running the file you just get the um, java swing frame in which you will find these two process first create the repository of uh, the data owner for example i am creating any data owners so just get the ip address and create cloud repository mean that uh, data owner repository will be updated and after that give cloud access just give that uh, correct uh, data owner name uh, when you give uh, give access it will be updated and after that you will find the data repository of the data owner in which uh, um, the previously evaluated files will be uh, these are the uh, data of the repository of the data owner uh, in which the file size are calculated and, and the cipher index 
will be evaluated according to the file size and the, uh, the kind of documents the cipher class index will be assigned here based on this index we are going to uh, create or derive some some of the aggregate keys now after that uh, just give the process you just uh, you can uh, select any kind of documents here because uh, since it is a cloud storage you can select any kind of documents and for the times uh, for example I am selecting the PDF file just uh, uh, I am going to give any PDFs for example uh, here I am, I am giving on PDF pro file just give extract means data will be extracted here and after that uh, uh, this is the um, first uh, um, derivations and algorithm derivations of the um, the data owner in which we will uh, list the um, here and the data owner um, selected repository will be listed uh, files will be listed here here that uh, we are going to evaluate the public key generations in which uh, uh, I'm selecting that base paper or uh, that uh, previously selected any any files here uh, that uh, class indexes for the respective file will be generated here uh, so uh, the list of data and the cipher client indices together can be uh, evaluated by using the binary and mapping so you just give the generate means it will be uh, here we are doing the and operations of the both the indices and the public key and their respective indexes and their respective message the, uh, will be generated and these parameters will be used to calculate the for the secret key generation here uh, the public key will be calculated and after the data attribute means here it means the uh, an attribute of the data owner for example it may be an id email or anything so it will be converted to bytes and these uh, together will be by uh, binary mapped by using that uh, uh, key generation algorithm and uh, uh, by using the binary mapping algorithm this both will be uh, exalt and uh, finally the aggregate will be produced here uh, we just this uh, aggregate key will be used to uh, uh, ensure the data security we have used this uh, uh, secret key for for the data security operations here also the template will be listed here that is the data owner name and the respective uh, file here we can uh, uh, give the privileges uh, whether it's a public or private data i'm just here i'm just selecting a private data so i'm just creating the template here i'm just created the uh, template and after that i'm going to perform the uh, data security operation here you can give the aggregate key uh, and so so far he is going to encrypt the data here the data will be ciphered before you are going to do the uh, uh, out data outsourcing operation you just um, go uh, to the server um, package you just run the cloud.java here you can find the repository button you just click store and after that uh, here you can give the upload button here your data will be uploaded here that uh, that uh, file will be received uh, at that server side and after once you uploaded the data uh, our uh, da secure data uh, operations will be over um, upload uploading operations is over and after that we are just going to retrieve the data from the cloud so for that I'm just running that uh, in the server package you just run the authenticate user dot java just run that uh, package is give the start server and after that you uh, just uh, go to the user side here you just give the user access in that user access uh, um, here um, from the user side he is a uh, so data owner uh, first he should be authenticated so you just enter that his user credential and he has to define which uh, access level he, he just uh, give the private access level and um, before he give the give the access give access here the requests are sent to the cloud server here the request has been uh, received in that uh, server side uh, that uh, requested username and his id he he is going to authorize data if it is an author if he is an authorized user means he can able to process uh, here in the server side uh, they are going to send the data just give the start server and after that here he give process and after that um, 
so we are just going to transfer the data for that give start here and uh, in the user side give view files here when you uh, give the view files here here his respective data will be listed here uh, user just give the download request here and after that uh, the server once uh, just he is going to authenticate the data once the download log is validated the data will be sent here here the, the data will be uh, received with the user side uh, by using the uh, once the data validation done so since it is an um, after give process since it, since it is an um, um, private data his uh, aggregate key will be uh, validated by using that uh, so he has to since it's a private data he should give the aggregate key now to decrypt the content so his uh, secret key will be validated once you give the retrieve his uh, data will be decrypted and uh, from the cloud server and it will be shown now all through the process we achieved uh, that secure uh, aggregate key generation by having the data owner mechanisms and the data owner repository uh, in which uh, aggregate keys will be uh, generated by using a bilinear mapping algorithm and uh, it will sh and an IAS uh, infrastructure service level will be defined by means of the pu public and private access and uh, the secure uh, data sharing will be achieved here thank you for watching